What's up YouTube? Today we're looking at a K-Bar and not just any K-Bar. We're looking at a K-Bar that's really nice for the money I paid for it, to be honest. Got lucky on the bay once again. You know how it is. Uh, you gotta be watching the bay like a pirate. This is from uh, 1991, the Collector's Club. It's in mint condition. Or so they say. I, I paid. Uh, the winning bid was eighty three plus ten. Um, let me see what the total. The total I paid for this ninety eight fifty eight. So just under a hundred dollars. We're going to be taking some measurements. This is going to be kind of a longer one. It's not going to be super short. Um, just because I don't have all that stuff already ready to go. So. Let's get down to it. This is a Coke bottle knife in Stag, made in the USA, 44139. I think that might be the, either some kind of number to do with this or a zip code. All right, what a box. All right, so first and foremost, we see that it is Stag. It's coming in at five and a quarter. And then we open it up. It has half stops. It doesn't, it kind of slides into the lock position. This would break in for sure. So then we got um, the blade itself, four and a quarter. Cutting edge is going to be four and an eighth, I think. Yeah, four and an eighth. So, we're going to now quickly transition to the calipers so we can really understand a lot what is happening. Zero it out. The thag, the thag, the thag, at its stickest, stickest part, thickest part, the stag at its thickest part is 17 millimeters, at least to my eye. Uh, and then the second, yeah, definitely. Second thickest part is 15. Um, at the thinnest part, it's going to 13 and a half ish. This says K-Bar Cutlery Inc. Limited Edition Knife Collectors Club K-Bar. Orlean, Olean, New York. Serial number is 2901. Super, super killer. Couldn't be happier with this one. We can put these away now as... We have taken all of the measurements that I want to take. So now we're going to transition over into the waxing portion of the video. Um, this thing is super clean though, so it's not going to need a whole lot of uh, to do. From 1981, dude. Yeah, that's already breaking in. This hasn't been opened but a few dozen times. You can kind of tell um, when you get a hold of a knife if it's just like way, way, it's like just so new that, you know, it's not even close to broken in. We're going to use the Ren Wax. Gonna rub it in to condition it. Tonight, before I tuck it into bed, I'm gonna sing it a song. All right, so 
That's about all we got to do there. It's clean. It's good. The goodness and the cleanness have combined. Oh, we're gonna get some good views. Whenever I do a view like this, I, I, it kind of reminds me of Star Wars when the uh, the Star Destroyers would like just glide by like this. Yeah, that's, uh, that's better by the second. So this is the kind of thing you really got to look for. The pictures didn't do it justice. I just happened to know um, how big this would have been just by looking at it because I kind of obsess about knives like a fucking weirdo, right? So I had a good idea that this was going to be just like an amazing piece. It does have... A gap running this area. Um, whether that would settle down or not through more opening and closing, I don't know. But for the price I paid for it, I mean, this is uh, this is a steal. It's a nice stag. Yeah, it's getting there. I mean, it's already way better than it was. Um, am I am I gonna like leave it out and play with it? Probably not. To be really honest, I'm probably gonna put it away. But yeah, this is the kind of stuff that you will find just floating around eBay. You do kind of have to wait for it. Um, the seller did not seem. Ex what I mean, wait for it. You got to like literally sit there. And like set a timer on your smartphone and then when it comes up to bid uh, you're ready to like jump it up 20 bucks from the 50 mark and i think that's what happened pretty much we battled it up to like where i got it at which was like the what did i say it was well now i don't remember um 80 something maybe it was 88 the winning bid was uh we're gonna i'll go back 83 winning bid is 83 dude are you kidding me that guy took a bath on this which means he lost money um which i mean from what i've read in the description somebody you know had as many people do stumble on a giant collection and uh they had no idea existed because um you know before like the internet and stuff where were the knife people supposed to go be weirdos at together uh you know it was you know people just kind of collecting and and just loving it so the face of knife collecting has has greatly changed since ag russell made it a thing but yeah so they took a 83 minus 15 percent so you're looking at at least seven probably uh 11 bucks less so they made like 70 some dollars which is, is not good. And so like when I got this, the guy immediately messaged me and was like, as soon as you pay, I will send you the knife. And I, I instantly paid like, okay, buddy. One thing you don't want to do on eBay is make anybody wait for money. No one likes that. It's not cool. But yeah, so this is a uh, kind of a blast from the past. Looking real nice. Super clean. I mean, this thing is like, whoa. All right. That's about all she wrote for this one. 
Thanks for sticking with me to the end. Hope you folks have a great rest of your day. Bye now.